I'm Phil Martino in the City News Business Center. Canada Mortgage and Housing says the annual pace of housing starts fell 22 percent last month. According to the agency, the annual pace of urban starts was down 23 percent for the month. Toronto saw a drop of 39 percent because of significantly lower multi-unit starts. CMHC defines a housing start as the beginning of construction work on the building where the dwelling unit will be located. CMHC Deputy Chief Economist Kevin Hughes says the notable drop in the rate of housing starts in November, particularly in the multi-unit space, should not come as a major surprise and reflects tighter economic conditions impacting construction timelines. Are you a Costco shopper? I spend a lot of time in there. Shares of Costco climbed today after Costco beat expectations for the company's first quarter earnings. The U.S. retailer reported a fiscal first quarter net income of $1.59 billion and posted revenue of $57.8 billion in the period. Net sales rose to $56.72 billion, while membership fee revenue jumped to just over a billion. We heard from the Governor of the Bank of Canada today. In his final speech of the year, Tiff Macklem says he expects 2024 to be a transition year as higher interest rates slow down the economy, making way for slower inflation. He also says once Governing Council is assured that we are clearly on a path back to price stability, we will be considering whether and when we can lower our policy interest rate. He adds he knows it's tempting to rush ahead to that discussion, but it's still too early to consider cutting their policy rate. The Bank of Canada has opted to hold its key interest rate steady at 5% during its last three rate decisions. In the City News Business Centre, I'm Phil Martino.